My grandson is a paratrooper. Dad was in the Navy, my granddad was in the Navy. My son actually was in the Army for 26 years. I lost an awful lot of people during both world wars. I, I just think it means so much and I think every you look around and nearly everyone wears a poppy but they don't know why sometimes. As we head towards Remembrance Sunday and Remembrance Day every year, it's a reminder that we must not forget those who have given their lives for this country. My name's Pip. Poppy Project started October 2018. We asked people if they would help us knit a few poppies and we've had over 12,000 poppies sent in. Hey, my name's Ella, I'm the Community Programme Coordinator. It started off as the King Edward Knit and Natter Groups project. It's grown into a real big community effort. We've had people from other community centres, other knitting groups, staff members, family members, friends, and the project has just grown and grown. Now, I am Gina Blackford. I've been here about 15 years as the Poppy Bill organiser. I first heard from Ella um, that they wanted knitters poppies and it's just gone viral. Uh, my name's Margaret and I'm chairperson at Landon Activity Centre. We knitted 3,000 poppies. We've stopped a lot of people being very lonely and if we can help anybody raise money, we always have done, especially for the services. I'm Councillor David burton Sampson, and I'm the Mayor of Basden. It's absolutely amazing the work they're doing and they're going to keep going year on year on year. The knitters are making 888,246 poppies which matches the number of people who were killed during the war. The, the ladies come together, they knit, have an atter, and while they're doing that, they're making these great poppies. It's an absolutely fantastic project with such a, a variety of poppies being made. The one I've got, eight different poppies representing um, 100,000 people. We wanted to help support the ladies, steer them, and do all the admin stuff behind the scenes. They're the ones that have been doing the knitting. They've been doing the hard bit. Knit and Natter is my favourite day of the week because I see all the lovely ladies that come here. It's just lovely that everybody gets involved. I, <laughs> I don't think I can still sort of knit, although I'm, a, I'm very, very rusty as I've just found out today. It's brought so many different people together. And ladies have got together that may never have crossed paths before. For Peabody, Remembrance Day is really important. Over 3,000 of our residents served in the First World War and nearly 400 of them never came home. By the end of the Second World War, the bombing in London had destroyed or heavily damaged 110 blocks of flats and 35 cottages. 200 Peabody residents and three members of staff lost their lives.